Do I have to turn your mic on? Or is it My just mic on? mic is on. Sick. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> That's hey, it. you gotta introduce yourself. All right, y'all, we are out here at Camp Woodward in the cafeteria during lunch. That's Spencer. That's George Pulos. That's Mike. They watching me vlog. Welcome to the vlog. What is good YouTube? My name is George and welcome to another episode of Schools Out. So this is week 10 at Camp Woodward. It is my second week of working here. Man, it's been a hectic week. I was told I was gonna be put into a cabin and be a counselor this week. It's already Thursday. It's been a really crazy adjustment sleeping in a cabin filled with 13 or 14 kids and it has been both amazing but also crazy. I mean, I was crazy when I was 15. I have to quiet them down at night. It basically feels like a 24 seven job since I'm responsible for all these little skater kids. Hey, say hi to the vlog. Yo! Let's go! Yo! 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 Hey, Yo! 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 Hide the vlog, hide the vlog. Thank you, Dad. Can you stop your video for a second? And I just wanted to kind of film a vlog here and document this. And I totally just want to get everyone in my cabin in the vlog just for the memory's sake. Because I was going to start really filming tomorrow, but I want you in it for the memories, so it's recording. I love all of you. My name is Nick. George just landed a kickflip front 50 at Target today. And it was beautiful. Thanks, man. It was genuinely beautiful. You killed it this week, Nick. I really appreciate you, bro. If any of you guys are watching this video, thank you for an absolutely incredible week. And you all freaking shred, dude. Like, keep skating. You guys are going to be so good when you're my age. I also do have an instruction group, which is different from the group of kids in my cabin. Instruction is a 9.30 a.m. to 12 p.m. I filmed a little bit today on the iPhone. We did the Dickies Challenge, which is a list of challenges, and it was super fun. All right. We should not be saying anything. For our poor guys over there, it is imperative that this skate park be absolutely silent. Thank you. Thank you. There we go. Ah! Yeah. In 2010, thought I was doing something. And now I'm rapping with a crew or something. I guess the track don't really stick unless he's blowing something. And I never fit the shoe until I do or something. Yo, bracing myself like teeth, boy. It's the same old route on some new concrete. But homie, these tones make you get a new ID. I'm trying to do my thing, but the commute ain't cheap. I'm on a two-day week for all this rap these days. And we can still pitch the track to all the wack DJs. We're singing happy days, wearing tacky J's. And I'm just pumped that I made it out my nappy face. Go. I saw air. Wow, first try. I did want to start out with a Q&A. I got a bunch of questions from you guys on my Instagram. What is a typical day at Woodward like? Do the kids just skate or do they do other camp stuff too? So first I'll answer this from a staff perspective. So this week as a cabin counselor and skate instructor, I have to be in the cabin by 10 p.m. Get all the kids to calm down, which is the hardest part of the job. Hey, listen up, listen up. It's 10.30, time to start winding it down. Neighbors are starting to go to sleep. Turn down the energy. All right, thank you. As I said, 9.30 a.m. to 12 is instruction, and I also have one skate park watching shift from 2 to 5.30 p.m. So it's nice to be free to skate at that 5.30 to 10 o'clock hour. The campers, they do their instruction thing in the morning, then they basically can free skate. That's what skaters want to do anyway. And there is social activities here and there. I was scooping ice cream at the ice cream social last night, super fun. Kind of answered this one already from my man, Sean Brown. How often do instructors get to skate? Yeah, so basically anytime you're not working. This week 
the best time to skate is after five, just when the weather is cooling down, feels so good. What is the pay like for your job position? Technically minimum wage, but since they are providing you free housing and free meals, they actually deduct those expenses from your pay. So you're really not getting paid much. Pay is not great, experience is great. Got a lot of questions about like, how did I get the job? Just applied online like a normal job, had an interview, just totally normal job process. Do kids pull up telling you they love your videos? Yeah, so it's been really cool to meet you guys in person. Really important question from Will, how is the coffee? So coffee's good and it's free. If you hop in the cafeteria during meal hours, you could fill up as much coffee as you want and can't complain. It's not the best coffee, it's not the worst coffee, it's like an average coffee. Carly asks, do you get told off for skating when you should be working? So during instruction shifts, you are allowed to skate with your group of kids, but if you are an OSI, which is when you watch the skate park, if you start skating, you will actually get told off by the skate directors. Can you skate there as much as you wish you could? I'm getting plenty of skate time in. It's been one and a half weeks and I'm ready to take a nice break from it, so yeah, absolutely. Do you feel like people skating in Woodward is pushing you to get better at skateboarding? Kids here are insane at skateboarding. It makes you wanna get better at skateboarding. It makes you realize things you need to work on. You're constantly seeing tricks that you think maybe you could try. This collective energy of skateboarding is like what makes this place so awesome and it definitely pushes you to get better. Are you living the dream there? I think as a camper, absolutely it is the dream. I think as staff, it's not perfect for me personally, like would love more time to edit and work on YouTube videos. What's up Dylan? Film a Q&A. Oh really? Yeah. You wanna say hi? Guys, this is Dylan in my cabin. How you doing? Good, how are you? I'm doing good. All right, Dylan. How is the food, living space, beds, etc., and does it get boring after a while? The food gets boring. The food does get boring. The beds are all right. Yeah. What is your favorite park at Woodward? Outdoor Street or The Rock. Good options, definitely. Aren't they gonna tear it down? Yes, Outdoor Street is being torn down and built anew. Should be exciting. I'm sad, but I'm excited. Outdoor Street is like a quintessential Woodward park, you know? Yeah, it's like the last OG park. How do the kids treat you? How do you think the kids treat me in our cabin? In our cabin, good. You just have a lot of energy. And yeah. when I was 15, I also terrorized my counselor, so it's like I can't even get mad, you know? I'm on a good skate, Luddy. All right, thanks, Dylan. Later, vlog. <laughs> All right, last one I'm going to answer. What makes Woodward special for you? It's like a little self-sustaining bubble. That's like no other place in the world. I mean, New York City has got 10 or so skate parks, maybe more, but they're all spread out. And when you go to them, it's like you're still kind of in the real world. Here, you're like in this almost fake place that like doesn't make sense that this actually exists. And when everyone comes together at the contests and for the sessions, it's just this insane energy that I've never felt anywhere in the world. And there's so much love for skateboarding and just for the other people around here and let's continue this vlog hi george's youtube subscribe to george pulos wait did you get that yep hey let's nice. go Yo, my name is parker my instagram is larker skate so george will put it right here yo it's me ben at ben dot on instagram yo what's up little homie Follow me on Instagram, Charlie underscore underscore trap. Right here, right here, here at the on the screen, George. Right here on the bottom of the screen, right here. She there, though, homie. Yo, what's up? My what's name's up, Ezra. Ezra. Follow me on Instagram, at Ezra Snyder. It's gonna be on the screen somewhere around here. Let's go, it's 929. Mall grab for life. I at Noah Kirsten. Follow yeah, me. Bro. Yeah, Noah Kirsten and Ezra Snyder is going to be on the screen somewhere here. At Noah Kirsten, it's going to be right here. Mine's going to be right here. At Noah Kirsten. Slack slime on him. One, two, two three, slack slime. Friday, last instruction. Freaking love my cabin, dude. It's going to be a good last day. Mass migration to morning instruction. How are you guys doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Send it today, please. What are you sending? Oh, uh, Rockside 360 meat grab in the resi. Hell yeah, man. That's how you want to be over it. It's time that I get back. Yo, I'm gonna get back. We can hold it down. Oh, God, I'm gonna get back. Yo, I'm gonna get back. We can hold it down. Yeah, we the fourth year in the promised land. Watch it, I promise, man. If you ain't looking close, we gon' look like it in this plan. Flex it, I really can't. Hey, Mike, what time is it? What time is it? How you doing, Dax? Good. How you doing, though? Oh my god! Oh! 
sweet, so your soy like so low key. Alright, stop. Back to back, back to back, back to back. Yo, Dax, hell yeah. Socks are running down. I'm actually ready to be angry for the first time in my life. Got like half the cabin right here. How are you guys doing? Get ready, Joel. First shot. Watch. Yeah. 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 Oh! I suck. All right, Charlie. Good teamwork, guys. 
So I'm chilling at the rock, about half the cabin pulled up, session the barrier, and freaking love these dudes. They just feel like the homies, you know? Hey, put that dark slide down. <laughs> Forecast. I don't know. Here at Woodward, we're cut off from the outside world. Oh, he's fucking. Welcome to the vlog. So. There you go. Yo, we got triple back to backs right now. That's my cabin right there. All right, all right, all right. Friday night, last night skating with the cabin. Super lit at the rock right now. Hi. At Noah Kirsten, right here. At, at Noah Kirsten. At Noah Kirsten. Didn't we all do that already? Oh. On cabin patrol duty. Are you vlogging? Yeah. Hi, vlog. Ezra? Yeah. Bang. Fire inside beach. <laughs> oh. They always plug. Yeah, Noah. Yo. <laughs> yeah, Dax. Oh, you schemer. What size board is this? 825. I skate 75. Impossible on the eighth so is gonna be answered right now. Yeah. I don't know the trick. What trick did you do? All the way down the eighth so it's gonna go down right now. I remember I did that. Yeah. Peter, how you doing? Good. I'm good. Super somber day. Kids just had the week of their lives and made a bunch of friends and now they have to go home. So it's a little sad, but we'll go bed 7 a.m. this morning and in the bathroom, it's filled with corn. So there's a thing here called the corn challenge. Heard about it as a camper, but actually didn't know anybody actually did it. So hilarious. Like apparently kids sneak out of their cabin at night, grab corn from the Amish corn fields somewhere and bring it back and load up the cabin. And kids clearly did that last night. Bathroom is insane. Yeah, the grasshoppers here are wicked. Hey! 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 